goals than having friends that don't have those same goals. me again <laughs> so for this video I just wanted to talk about becoming like a better you so like you're improving you're changing in a good way for yourself but my, other people might not think so so I know it's kind of a weird video but I just wanted to talk about it because I have also experienced it in the past couple of years now um, and the thing is if your friends tell you you have changed and they it's not like and they tell you you haven't become the person we want you to become then that's a good thing don't be sad about it and I feel like this I feel like I should have told myself this when I was younger and what I'm basically trying the message I'm trying to get across you are changing and when you're changing it doesn't mean that it's a bad thing it's actually a good thing it might be bad because of it it might be bad because your friends don't like it but it's something because it's improving you sometimes you have your, I'm not saying all the time because sometimes when a person do change it can become bad but there's times you change because you become a better person so for example during my secondary time year seven year eight I was the type of person I always wanted to fit in I always wanted to be the person people would like but I wasn't that during that time like if if there was a certain fashion trend and every single popular person would wear it I would I would I would desperately want that thing and it was something that affected me because even though I got them things I still wasn't there I still wasn't liked people still treated me like I was a nobody in my school I became a little bit depressed because I wanted to be that girl, I wanted to be that girl everyone would like sort of talk about, say oh there's Sophie and you know all that kind of stuff but then my mom came up and told me you are too young to be depressed, you are too young, everyone loves you, your family loves you and it was one of those I did not see that, I'm sorry because my backdrop is keep on dropping, what am I saying? <laughs> sorry the backdrop dropped, anyway yeah she told me that because she also started to see the change in me, it started to affect my studies because during that time, year seven, year eight, I never used to study, um, and I would always cry when my results would be bad, <laughs> which is kind of stupid of me because, like, obviously, if you don't put the work in, you won't get the good results. So it kept being like that, and then I said to myself, you know what? I want to be a better person. I want to be, you know, maybe in my school I might not be known. Maybe in my school, you know, no one cares. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't care. You know, I just don't care. I'll just live my life, do what I want to do. So, I stopped following the trends of people. I start studying. I start loving myself, and plus I was overweight. I'm still overweight, but I was a big girl as well. I start appreciating my body. I started to change in that way. I started to study more. So the friends I was around back then, um, they were good friends. I didn't leave them because I didn't leave them because like we had a fallout and stuff like that. No, I never left them because of that. I left them because I don't know. I, I just felt like I left them because they were we were quite different. Like our personalities was not clicking all the time. So it just sort of faded by itself. It's not like I was just like um deuces. <laughs> no, it wasn't like that at all. Um so they were just telling me oh my god you're studying oh my god you're such a geek like oh my god you're such a good girl or if they told me oh let's go do that and i'll be like no i don't want to do it it was just like oh my god you're so boring like why are you listening to your parents for blah 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 like it was one of those and i didn't like being in that environment i didn't like to give an excuse every single time when they asked me to go out because sometimes it was like a genuine excuse but for them they still feel like your parents your parents and i'm just like yo my parents said no i can't go out I'm not gonna, you know, question an African. <laughs> they will send me back to my country, one way ticket to Gambia. No way. <laughs> so it was one of them, and then I met good friends. I know they're watching this. I met good friends. They were. We all had the similar personality, so it all sort of clicked. We all like. We all 
studied hard even though we hated studying we all studied and you know and i'm still friends with them to this day so it's one of those like when people tell you you have changed don't be don't feel down don't be disappointed don't be like oh my god my friends don't like me because i've changed you have changed for the better and if your friends don't like it your friends don't like it if they don't like it then i'm sorry they they are not your friends like sometimes your friends can see you're changing for the better and they will encourage you and be like yes you're changing you're becoming a better person those are good friends but friends that tell you you have changed we don't like the way you've changed you know let's say you were a, pers a person in a gang and then you don't want to be part of that anymore and then your friends will be like you have changed you're not a good person like you have changed you're becoming a better person blah blah we don't like that then i'm sorry you just have to leave them they are not your friends they are not your friends and changing for me i feel like that's a good step into your life like because once you change new opportunities come in for example you might have you might have been to school you have good grades then you go to a good sixth form sixth form college whatever something like that or you might have been a person that was very dumb not dumb but a person that did not like classes or anything like that and then one day you're starting to be good with it and then you move up to another class that in a higher level so i feel like just be you don't change because your friends are like we don't like you changing and then you change back to you then you change back to a, to a way that they like don't do that if you want to become a better person change because you want to change change because you want to change your life it might it might be you might feel like oh your friends are sort of pulling you away from like studying all that kind of stuff and you know you want to go back and study so you get friends that does that type of things get friends that have the similar personality within you and have the same goals because if you have friends that have the same goals as you believe me it's easier to reach them goals than having yeah. friends that don't have those same goals ah, sorry sorry guys the backdrop key kept dropping sorry i'm not gonna cut that out but anyway like i said if you have friends that have similar goals as with as you it means that you will try your best to reach that goal so what i'm basically saying changing it's not always bad it's not sometimes the fake friend like your friends like your old friends might not be the best for you it might also be a sign from god saying that you know you need to cut these friends and move on and get a bet and be in a better position in your life so um i just wanted to like give this message to teenagers because i was like those are like in secondary because i was also in that position i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and um watch out for our next video so anyway peace out guys and i hope you enjoyed this video bye